promoting good <laughs> dental health. All right, here she is. Thank you. Can you hear me? Excellent. I think a number of the kids came down to see our extra large toothbrush, but if you didn't get a chance, please come down and take a look at this. This one obviously is not for any of the kids. Um, probably more for an elephant or another large animal like that. But what we love to do at Delta Dental of Arizona Foundation is really to help children and parents understand what they can do to have a healthy smile for their whole life. And we have tonight, obviously, a fabulous film at the Tooth Fairy that will remind us about keeping healthy smiles and taking care of our teeth. But we also wanted to tell you about our partnership, because we're very excited in a few days, February 1st, will be the beginning of National Children's Dental Health Month. And during the month, we're going to have a number of activities at the Children's Museum of Phoenix. Has anybody been down to the museum? Raise your hand. Oh, excellent. Before you leave tonight, grab one of these flyers. On the flyer, you'll find out that we have several activities with a kickoff on Target Free First Friday, which is February 5th, and on that evening from 6 to 10 p.m., children and their families can get into the museum for free, and Radio Disney is going to host a smile show for two hours that evening, and going to sing and play games and dance and just have a wonderful time on the steps of the historic Monroe School, which is the Children's Museum. And during the month of February, we're going to have our Delta Dental Tooth Fairy make special appearances at the museum telling stories, and you'll love her. She's just fabulous. And we'll also have a local retired dentist, Dr. Gary Johnson, who's also known as Molar Man. And Molar Man will be making some superhero appearances also at the Children's Museum in February. So we hope you'll join us. And all the time that you come to the museum, and also tonight, everybody will leave with their own smile bag as you exit. And in your smile bag, you'll have a toothbrush, a toothpaste, and floss, and a little toy, and some more information. So the one thing I want to encourage you to do in 2010, to give yourself the best long life and healthiest smile, is to floss more. Who can tell me how often you should floss? Every day. Every day. Say it one more time. Every day. Every day. Thank you so much. Floss every day and enjoy the Tooth Fairy film tonight. Thank you.